Did you know that 64% of consumers make a purchase after watching a video on social media? But not all video is created equal. Enter in Facebook Live. People on Facebook are four times more likely to watch live stream than a pre-recorded video. And let's face it, if folks aren't watching, they aren't buying. Today I'm gonna to share how to get more sales with Facebook Live. 21 of my top secrets on how to increase your engagement and ultimately how to increase your sales. Over the last years, I've done thousands of Facebook Lives and I've truly built my business by going live. And I wanna teach you how to do exactly the same thing. This training today is timeless. Whether you're watching it in 2020 or two years from now, the tips will still be relevant. The Parisi Pack. Welcome back. If you don't know me well, my name Stephanie Parisi and I love helping busy moms in network marketing grow their influence and their profits using social media strategies that actually work. I'm also the leader of the Parisi Pack. If you like what you're hearing, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell to get notified when another video is released, and grab a pen and paper so you can take notes and let's dive into this. There's nothing better than going live and making sales during the live or immediately after the live. That has been my experience and even this last month, I went live, I started a business, I was talking about it, and I had people joining my team the very next day. Today, I can't wait to share these 21 secrets with you on how to boost your views, your engagement, and ultimately your sales when you implement these secrets. What's secret number one? Create problem-solving, value-based content. Really solve the pains and problems of your target market. Watch other videos on the topic. Read blog posts. Really do your research. That way, when you go to create, you are creating the best piece of content out there. 72% of consumers would rather learn about a product or a service by video. And let's face it, People remember video so much better than written text. In fact, 95% of people retain a message when they watch it versus read it. So solve the problems of your target market, but just do it by video. Go live. Secret number two, establish credibility in your delivery. Organize your content. Set up the delivery of your Facebook Live so it flows from beginning to end. Follow this format. Hook, intro, story, lessons, call to action, and then summary. Content that flows really keeps a viewer engaged. And with Facebook Live, you have an advantage. People watch live three times longer than anything that's pre-uploaded to Facebook. When you can to help your credibility, share personal experiences. For instance, with me in this video, sharing that I've gone live thousands of times helps my credibility. Do the research to include stories, testimonials, and statistics where they make sense. And if you need it, practice before you go live. Here's a pro tip. Interview experts in your field live. Go out and find someone who has a bigger audience or network and bring them in and interview them. It's a great way to increase your views and get more people talking. Secret number three, create an enticing title. So many people do not do this and I don't understand why not. It drives me crazy because let's face it, unless you have a million followers already, people aren't going to watch your Facebook Live if you don't title it. Take the time to do some research to figure out titles that are gonna make people click. What makes you click to watch a Facebook Live? How can you spin a title to intrigue your viewer, but also solve their problems? Whatever the video is, the title matters, so take the time to think it through. Secret number four, promote your Facebook Live. Promote your live before you do it and after the fact. The day before, the week before, Promote it in your Facebook stories. You can start a watch party after you do it in a different group. You can cross promote it on different platforms and you can email your list that you're going live. If you wanna see more email secrets, check out this video on why email marketing is smart marketing. One pro tip for promoting your Facebook Live is to use the day of the week by name instead of saying tomorrow. Since a story is up for 24 hours, after 18 hours have passed and it's the next day, you want people viewing that story and being like, oh, the live is today. I haven't missed it. Secret number five, 
consistency. Figure out and go live at the exact same time each week if possible. Pick a day and stick to it. Even better if you can pick a time and stick to it. That will train your audience when to show up and when you're delivering great value. If you aren't showing up consistently, how can you expect your viewers to show up consistently? According to research, the highest traffic time on social media is between Wednesday and Thursday. So if you're looking for a great day to go live, go live on a Wednesday or Thursday. Personally, when possible, I like to go live in the morning to give my viewers the entire day to get notifications and watch it. But I'll be honest, if your content is spot on, it doesn't matter that much when you go live, people will watch it. Make it work with your schedule. I know as a busy mom, I often had to pick to go live late on Monday nights because that is the only time I could do it when my kids weren't interrupting me. My pro tip for this is just to test out different days of the week by showing up consistently and see when you get the most views and when you get the most engagement. Secret number six, Set up your environment for success. Take a few moments beforehand to clean up your area. If you have dogs, put them outside first so they don't bark or interrupt you in the middle of a live. That has happened to me so many times and now I have learned my lesson. When possible, do the live without your kids. Yes, I've done many lives with my children, but they can be a huge distraction. So as they get busier and noisier, it's great to try to do it when they aren't present. Secret number seven, nail the lighting. This doesn't have to be super fancy. Right now, I'm using a ring light inside, but I'm also in front of a window. Without the lighting, it's just not as good. You don't wanna show up on screen totally washed out. The best lighting is just natural light. You can always practice from different places outside. So you don't have a ring light? No problem, use natural light. Go right in front of a window or go outside and you can get spectacular lighting. Secret number eight, what's your best angle? Everyone looks like they have a double chin when the angle is very far down. What also matters with angle? Looking at the camera dot. If I look at myself right now in this video, it just looks weird because I am not looking at you. Know where your camera dot is and focus in on that lens so you are engaged with the person watching you on the other side. Secret number nine, what's your audio like? Check the background noise. You might need an external mic. It makes a huge difference. If the area that you're recording in is super echoey, you can always add blankets to the floor and that's gonna absorb some of that extra sound. Secret number 10 on how to get more sales with Facebook Live, check your Wi-Fi connection before you go live. You go live, you hit that button, and then, ah, you have low internet connection. How many times have you gotten that notification? A simple trick is go live beforehand, but set the privacy just to yourself. You're gonna be able to see what your signal is like. Secret number 11, get pumped up. You have to bring the energy, more energy than you have in real life. It's like being you times three. There are so many times when I've gone live and I've thought, yeah, I was excited. And then I go back and watch, boring. This is where you really gotta get pumped up, even more than you think. And I get it, talking to a camera is not natural, but whatever you can do to fire yourself up, do it. Get pumped up beforehand. It also helps to smile during your live. Bring the enthusiasm so your viewer knows and sees your belief about what you're talking about, but also that you're excited about it. If you're not excited when you're talking about it, people are gonna stop watching, which means they're not going to engage, which means they aren't going to buy. So get excited before you go live. Get pumped up. Secret number 12, dive into your content right away. Don't wait for people to hop on, honor people's time. Most of your viewers are going to be replay versus live viewers. You have eight seconds to capture someone's attention. Use those eight seconds wisely and jump right into your material. One of my favorite ways to start a live is to simply ask an engaging question right away Put it out there so your viewer knows what you're gonna be talking about and what problem that you're gonna solve for them in that live training. Also, as you jump into your material, introduce yourself. Having a tagline helps. 
This allows the viewer to know exactly what you do and what problems you solve. One pro tip, the top performing Facebook Lives are typically 15 to 20 minutes in length. Keep your lives to 15 minutes or less. It better be full of amazing content. Secret number 13, ask engaging questions. This helps you get to know your viewers and it also helps you hack the algorithm because more comments are going to boost it in the newsfeed. Facebook Live gets 10 times more comments than an uploaded video. My pro tip with this, Plan out your content and keep your questions simple. Yes or no, one, two, three, fours, because people don't wanna take a long time to write out long responses when you're live. Secret number 14, acknowledge people. People love a shout out. Facebook Live produces six times more interactions than a traditional video. So shout people out. My pro tip with this, wait to shout people out till you hit breaking points within your content so you're not interrupting a key thought. Secret number 15, ask people to share your live video out. I recommend not asking right at the beginning, but wait until you've given a little bit of value. Say you're into lesson number one or two and then say, hey, share it. Just like with this video, you're getting some value. Share it with your team members who go live on Facebook. Keep it simple. Just say, hey, tag a friend, tell someone. My pro tip for this is to do a giveaway with it. It's a way of rewarding loyal viewers. Everyone loves free things. So you could give away a gift card or you could give away a skill set that you have. Maybe do a free coaching call or a course or a design. Think about what you could give away and serve your audience. Secret number 16, tell people to turn on their notifications. There's such a small amount of people that will see it. So if they turn on their notifications, they have a better chance of getting notified when you go live. My pro tip, just make sure to use the right language. If you're going live from a business page, make sure to tell them to like and follow. If you're going live from your profile, make sure they know how to add you to the see first area of their friend setting. Or on YouTube, the terminology would be to subscribe and hit that bell to get notified when new videos are released. Secret number 17, have a call to action. Give people the next step to take. Not everyone will want it, but some people will want to dive deeper. Just make sure to keep it congruent with your subject matter. My pro tip, keep your wording simple and clear. Clarity is absolutely essential. Secret number 18, tease the next live. When you go live, at the end of your live, tease the next video, do a series. Yes, it takes a little bit more planning, but series are a great way to get people showing up week after week after week. Increase your views, your engagement, and ultimately your sales. So you finish your live and now what? That's where secret number 19 comes into play. Go back and edit your thumbnail. I don't know about you, but Facebook usually picks the worst thumbnail for me. So from a desktop, you can go back in and select a better thumbnail for your Facebook Live. So when people are scrolling the newsfeed, they see something that actually looks more appealing to watch. You can do this on both profile and business pages. Secret number 20 is for business page owners. You go live from your business page, well, take five or $10 and actually boost that live. You'll get more views, hopefully more engagement, and that can also lead to more sales. There are lots of different options when it comes to boosting your live, but I recommend boosting it to the people who follow and like your page, or you can pick someone that's in your same niche and boost it to the people who like their page and follow them. This is a great advantage for business pages. Secret number 21, reply smartly. Go back and reply and engage with people who have commented on your live video. That said, my pro tip is don't do it all at once. When people engage on your live, or if you're going back and engaging on your live, that's gonna bring it back to life. So I typically recommend engaging in some comments right away to get it out in the newsfeed, but then wait a few hours and engage on some more. Someone tags a friend? Well, don't go and like that immediately or say thanks for tagging your friend. Wait a few hours and then do it because that friend who got tagged will then get notifications that are spaced out. So be very smart in your engagement on your live video. And that's how to get more sales with Facebook Live. If you found this video helpful, go to stephanieparisi.com to find out how to boost your engagement across all social media posts. 21 secrets on how to get more sales with Facebook Live. Create problem-solving, value-based content. Establish credibility in your delivery. Take the time to create an enticing title. Promote your live. Consistency.
Set up your environment for success. Nail the lighting. Choose your best angle. Check your audio. Get a great Wi-Fi connection. Get pumped up. Dive into the content right away. Ask engaging questions. Acknowledge people. Ask people to share it out. Tell people to turn on their notifications. Have a call to action. Tease your next live video. Go back in and edit your thumbnail. Boost your live from a business page. Reply smarter. If you got value today, leave me a comment and let me know. And then be sure to give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, hit that bell, share it with your friends, your team who are going live, and I will see you next week when I release another video. Are you looking to grow your influence and your profits online? Then grab your spot in the Parisi Pack, my private coaching community. You can find the Parisi Pack on Facebook.